Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Welcome to Knitting and Manifesting with Joe. This is my first video, my first knitting and manifesting video. And I'm happy to be going and taking this journey with all of you. The aim of this channel is to share my knitting journey with you and to also capture my epically delightful and rewarding manifestation experiences. I have lots of stories to tell. Everything that I'll be sharing with you will be based on personal anecdotes, you know, the outcomes, the results, the experiences that I have had in my life to date, and also many stories of other people who have used the law of assumption to get the results they want in life. I think we all want to live a happy and fulfilled existence. And some of us are searching and we are seeking. And what I'll be sharing with you is there's something better than seeking, searching, or doing. And that's seeing your best self now. So basically, you're going into the future, bringing your best self into the present and live as the person that you already are. So I'll be talking a whole lot more and going more in depth about manifestation in subsequent videos. I will go more in depth about myself. But for now, however, I will start off with how I was introduced to knitting. So my daughters are fiber artists. They started off crocheting and they eventually transitioned to knitting. And they sell some of their merch, some of their items online on the online store. And knitting is more than a hobby for them. Just being a first-hand observer, it's a passion. It's what they do all day, every day. And they have been telling their own stories, I'll share some of their stories with you about their experiences of knitting and being in fiber arts you know they have traveled to europe and many states in the united states and seeing how much fulfillment and happiness knitting brought them i say you know what i want to take on this challenge you know i would watch them just having two needles in their hand and it looked like they were sword fighting just needles hitting each other and I would see stitches and next thing you know I see a sock or a beanie or a sweater and I just found that to be so amazing and I'm like how can you just take two needles hit them together go in and out that's what it looked like to me and produce something that's so beautiful so I decided to take on the challenge of learning how to knit at first I wanted to start off with crocheting and I asked them, hey, which is easier, crocheting or knitting? They said crocheting. So, of course, I knew exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to take on the more difficult challenge, which was knitting. FYI, I have neither knitted nor crocheted before. I am familiar with some knitting terms and fiber arts terms because I've heard my daughters repeat them so many times over and over again. In this first video, you'll see that I'm doing long tail cast on. Let me pause and insert this here. My videos will not be tutorial videos on how to knit. There are many YouTubers who are doing a fantastic job with their educational and tutorial videos. So that's not the aim of this channel. The aim of this channel, once again, is to share my stories, but I'll be doing it in a different fashion. I'll be knitting while I'll be talking about some of my experiences relating to the law of assumption so in this video, I'm doing long tail cast on and it seems pretty easy to do. I notice I just have to be more attentive to my hand position to make sure that I'm not twisting the stitches. Throughout the video, you'll notice if you notice my facial expression, there are some parts where I'm confused because my stitch became twisted. And what I realized was that I wasn't turning my hand, I wasn't rotating my fingers 180 degrees. Therefore, I kept getting, I kept twisting the stitches. You live, you learn, get better. Adjust, adapt, overcome. So how did I learn how to do long tail cast on? Well, I'm glad you asked. When I told my daughters that I wanted to learn how to knit, they gave me a YouTube playlist to watch. 
And that's what I've been doing, watching YouTube videos. The first video I watched was Long Tail Cast On for Beginners by Sheep and Stitch. And the next video on my playlist is Continental Knitting, How to Knit, Pearl, and Bind Off Stitches by 10 Rows a Day. Right now, I'm not sure which style of knitting technique I'm going to be using, whether it's English or Continental. However, I am leaning toward Continental. And the main reason I am choosing to start with Continental or leaning towards Continental is because my daughter's English knit. And I wanted to do something a bit different from them. And I also think it will be cool to compare and contrast the different experiences, you know, as I advance on my knitting journey. So I decided to, rather than ask my daughters to teach me how to knit, to watch YouTube videos. Part of the reason for that is my daughters have their own schedules. And secondly, I love self-directed learning. That suits me well. And this is not to say that my daughters won't be giving me tips because they already have. Watching YouTube videos and learning on my time helps and gives me creative license to experiment, you know, without constant input about techniques and methods. Um, I like finding things out on my own a whole lot. And that's the path I have chosen thus far. And once again, I will definitely be going to my daughters to help me out as I advance with fiber arts. Now, onto the heart of this channel. The heart of this channel will be manifestation, manifesting. First, I'm a student of Neville Goddard, and I've been actively studying Neville's work for the last three years. And I must say, the results I've experienced to date in my life have changed the trajectory of my life so profoundly that it will continue to bear fruits. The outcomes, the results, the effect will continue to bear fruits long after I'm gone onto my grandchildren, my great-grandchildren, my posterity. I'm talking about impossible results, impossible outcomes, improbable outcomes, improbable results, dreams, goals, ambitions, desires that I never imagined would come to life. I'm actually living that narrative. I'm living that story. I'm encountering, I'm having those experiences firsthand. And I look forward to sharing those with you. I will be more specific as we progress in subsequent videos. I will detail where I started, what my life was like before Neville, and what my life is now. I wouldn't say post Neville because I listen and study Neville's work every day, a few hours a day. I'm not sure the format of the videos yet. However, a typical video will be of me knitting, learning how to knit while talking about specific experiences relating to the law of assumption as introduced and taught by Neville Goddard. I will also talk about certain parts of my book. I published a book in 2022, January 1st, 2022, and I showed a clip of the book in this video the Kindle version is available online and the paperback will be coming out later this year. But if I were you, I would wait for the paperback version because it captures my heart and my narrative in a compelling manner that I think you will relate with. Because I'm sure that many of you, if not all of you, have at one time in your life or you probably still seeking, you searching, looking for that spark that fire that's going to set your whole world ablaze with purpose and what I've learned over these years as a student of Neville as a student of the law of assumption is that I no longer have to seek purpose I no longer have to do and engage in actions in the objective world in the material world all I have to do is see what am I seeing? Seeing myself as the person that I already am. Seeing the goals, the desires, the definite chief aims as already completed. And I will develop these ideas more in details. I will explain the techniques, the methods, the practices. And those techniques, methods, and practices are not the focus. So it's not 
anything that I'm doing to get results. So this is not like the law of attraction where you do something to get something else. The law of assumption is different. The law of assumption, in essence, says because you are, you will be. And because you will be, you already are. So I see myself as already living that life. So I go to the end and I live from that wish fulfilled. And living in the end brings that result from the future into the present. Past, present, and future, it's only one timeline. We look at it as three different timelines, but it's actually one timeline. So if I want to reach a certain financial status, I don't seek the financial status. I see myself as already living that life. So I go to the end and I live from that wish fulfilled. And living in the end brings that result from the future into the present. So when you practice the law of assumption, you're basically reaching into the future, bringing whatever you want from the future, the most desirable outcomes, the most desirable state of consciousness, the most desirable ideals, and you are bringing it into your present life and living that experience in the nowness of consciousness. You're living that experience today. It doesn't matter what the objective facts of reality says. Reality says that I have this amount of money in my bank account. But what I say, what I visualize, what I have imagined, what I have assumed is that I have my version, my desired amount of money in my bank account. Not tomorrow, not later, but right now. And I live as though I have it. When I go to my bank, I smile at the teller because I know when she gives me back a receipt, it doesn't matter what the numbers are that she gives me. It does not matter what my balance is. I project what I want my balance to be and I live from that place. So that's going to be the typical format of most of the videos. I also talk about my book. I published a book titled I Say Yes in 2022, January 1st, 2022. But don't get it yet. Wait until the paperback. Don't get the Kindle version yet. Wait until the paperback version is out because it will contain my most up-to-date experiences of how I went from this person who had just enough to now this individual who is living in abundance, increase, and overflow. I'm excited to be sharing this journey with you and I look forward to interacting with you. I look forward to getting to know you. I know throughout this journey, many of us will become friends and we will build a strong community and share how delightfully rewarding it is to change our paradigm, change our mindset, change our lives, live from our ideal state of consciousness to experience today the person that we already are, the phenomenal individuals that we already are. So until the next video, take care. And remember, whatever follows I am, you become. Take care. Bye.